Hey, Hal Gaywood with BibleTalk.tv Tech. Today I'd like to show you how we've incorporated singing into our online service. Since we have nobody here in the building, we needed to find a way to, to provide the singing along with our live stream uh, that we've been doing for years. And so we start with a uh, service called Praise and Harmony TV. It's by the Acapella Company. And they have uh, in their collection of videos, um, you can go through and find videos that have the singing, like a congregational singing, and the lyrics on the screen. The best way that I found is that to use their search feature and look for the song that uh, you need. They have a lot of different video types, and so the ones that you're kind of looking for are congregational videos. And those videos will have the, like I said, the lyrics as well as a group of people singing them. One thing to be careful of is they have multiple versions of the same song, one that will have the congregational singing and one that will have just like the tenor part or the soprano part. And so you got to make sure in there which one um, is the correct one that you're going to need. We've been using the congregational one and it's been going well and getting a lot of um, good reviews. So we live stream using a software called vMix. You could use a similar situation, similar setup uh, for uh, OBS or other broadcasting software. The main idea is that we're playing the video uh, over here and we're using a technology called NDI to, to send that over to the live streaming uh, platform. This is not something I've created, it's something that vMix has created and all the other pl platforms have it. It's a very common thing now to be able to send video through uh, wirelessly. Um, so I'd like to jump in onto the computers and show you the different technology um, that we use to do that. Okay, so I'm on our PowerPoint computer. I'm looking at Praise and Harmony.tv. I've been uh, logged in so that it sends me straight to the catalog. And the way we've been doing it is uh, our song leader Titus has been going in and he's been picking uh, a song and he'll look it up. And they have quite a bit, so it, it's a good selection, good catalog of uh, potential songs. And as you can see, you've got uh, the soprano only version bass. This is for all their training stuff. And then look down below, you've got two different options, uh, TD, SG, and just SG. I'm not entirely sure what those, uh, the difference is between that. You can find the one that works better for you. And then what I've done is I would open it up and we leave it open here. And it's right in the middle of this window. This is gonna be important when we go over uh, to the other computer. So then we can open up a right click on here, open up in a new tab, and he can find the next song, let's, uh, whatever that would be, Beautiful Star of Bethlehem, great. And so you see this one in this tab is also opened in the exact same part of the frame. We're gonna capture this part uh, of, the, of this screen and that's what we're gonna bring into our live stream. So it's important that they all are just kind of in different tabs as you go along. And this is synced up with vMix. This is vMix.com. And if you use this software, they have a, a NDI over here on the left side, an IP production with vMix. If you click that, this gives you um, a desktop capture software for Windows or Mac. And then you can install this. Like we have this installed right down here. We click this uh, little um, tool down here, open, and it will automatically connect to our other computer uh, across the sound booth. And it is really very interesting what you can do on the other. So I'm gonna jump in onto the other computer and we're going to see how we're gonna bring it in, how we crop in and get that going. So here I'm on the streaming computer. I wanna add my NDI capture from my other computer. I've got all my other inputs going and we need to get that in there. So let's go over to add input. Let's hit more. And then we're gonna hit the NDI capture right here. And as you can see, it's got my current computer and the PowerPoint's computer that's using the NDI technology to send its screen. Let's click on that first one, display one, and bring that in. So now that we've got that input in, we're going to hit the configure here, the little gear icon. And I believe, if I remember correctly, thankfully on this one, you can zoom, you know, you can zoom the thing in and out to your right side, and you also need to move it around to fit. I'm doing a 720 live stream, so I've got the ability to zoom in a little bit and keep most of the quality. So I hit two, I found got us really close, and then the X, I believe, was a 0 0.04. No, that's wrong, two. Two looked great, and maybe a four on the X. No, oh, zero four, boom, there. So that was what I had. Uh, thankfully, the video is centered as best it can on the other computer. And we can go ahead and, um, well, let's give it a name, nice name, uh, live songs, just for fun. 
and then we'll click out the X and you can see that we've got that new input ready to roll right there. Let's go ahead and just uh, drag it over here. Okay, so now that you've got um, your live songs in here and you've got your camera so that we've been doing a song leader who's been announcing the song just to keep it more familiar with how um, how it's been going, he'll announce the song and then I'll hit spacebar, uh, I'll hit play, sorry, I'll hit play on my current computer over there on the video and then I hit spacebar on my live mix on the streaming computer to send it over to the other side. So here we go, I'm going to hit play and I hit spacebar and the songs are going. You can see the audio levels going in the middle there showing that the audio is coming out of the headphone jack of the other computer and then that's coming into our main mixer and then we're sending that along to the streaming computer. And so when the song's over we'll simply just hit spacebar again which will come back to the song leader who would be standing there at the podium. So that's how we're doing it right now because nobody's in the building. Normally we have crowd mics that we've set up, uh, three of them around. There's one up in the middle here and two up at the front that we pull in the sound into, um, into the vMix software. And then we mix that with the, the regular song slides that we show up on the screen, the white and black normal stuff that you see from uh, like paperless hymnal. And we mix those two together to create our own congregation singing. So the difference is we're just using a group. It looks similar, uh, different colors, different uh, theme layouts that the, uh, the Praise and Harmony people have put together, um, but a, a good effect, and I think it's very helpful. I hope to make more of these videos to give uh, some more tips that we've been uh, using to get our, our stream going, and I hope it's been helpful for you. Thanks for tuning in.